Hi, good morning everyone. I hope you all are doing good. In the last video, we discussed about the IELTS, that what is IELTS. But from today's session, we are going to discuss about a particular IELTS module. In today's video, I'm going to pick up IELTS speaking. Please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video. I know you have the question that why IELTS speaking first? Well, I have valid reasons for that. Firstly, I believe that if you are good at speaking, then probably you will be good at performing with listening, reading and writing as well. Secondly, I am a talkative person and for a talkative person, there is nothing more easier than to speak. So in this video, we are going to discuss about that what should we do in the speaking test and what shouldn't we do in the IELTS speaking test. As I told you in the last video that there are three parts of speaking, part one, part two and part three. In the part one, your examiner will ask you question about your personal life. It can be like, where are you from or what are you doing in your studies, in your professional life. After that, your examiner will give you questions on based of a particular category. It can be about your family, about your friends, about the mobile phone that you like most, about the sport, about the newspaper that you read most, or it can be about your hometown. Well, in the part one, you don't need to be stressed because part one is about to make you feel comfortable to give you friendly environment. For example, if I meet you, then I am going to ask you a question that there are how many members in your family? Did you like football or not? So just take it as an experience. Don't be stressed out. So let's go with the mistake that we usually make in the speaking test. The first mistake that we usually make is repetition. We repeat over again and again. For example, if your examiner asks you that which is your favorite sport, I know that you want to answer it like my favorite sport is this, but it's, it's not supposed to be like it. You need to be use your vocab here. For example, you can use it like there are many sports that I like, but I prefer to play football. Or you can say, I used to play many games, but football is my first preference. Please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video. Let's go with the second mistake that we make. As I already told you that usually we get nervous, so there is no chance to be nervous or there is no thing to be worried about because they are giving you friendly environment so be comfortable there you can think like that this is not a test you can th take it as experience you are talking to a person who is from an another country and you are enjoying the experience to talk to them you are just answering their questions you are not giving a test right it can help you to make comfortable to boost your confidence the second thing we can do we can practice sometimes under the circumstances. For example, we can uh, suppose like we are giving test to examiner in a room who is sitting in front to us and we are just answering their questions. So it can also give you more confidence. It can also improve your skills as well. Okay, let's go with the third mistake that mostly students do in the speaking test. The third mistake is about if you know that you had made a mistake and you will try to fix it up. But in trying to fix it up, you will make more mistake. If you know that you will make a mess there in trying to make or in trying to fix mistake, then you shouldn't fix it. Let it go because sometimes your examiner expect from you to make mistake. Because native speakers also make mistake. That's okay to make mistake. So let it go. Don't be stressed about it. Let's go with the fourth mistake that we do. 
can you guess it up please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video all right your fourth mistake is about keeping your answer short don't answer in yes or no you should also add why in the end of your every answer if you are going to answer with the yes or no how your examiner can judge you because they are there to judge you how they can check your fluency how they can check your vocab how they can check your grammatical mistake so you have to speak in the speaking test for that you have to do a lot of practice you can practice with the mirror you can do mirror practicing your mirror speaking or you can also record your audio to listen that to find the mistake and record again it will help you the fifth mistake that we do we talk without expression without hand movement but it matters most no matter if you are a good speaker but if you are not making any expressions there you are not making any hand movement there i think it's gonna put bad impression on the examiner for your speaking test like if you are speaking without hand movement you are speaking like i love football that's my favorite sport i don't think this is going to be work did you see the difference with the hand movement within a smile and with the eye contact it makes difference so try to improve within the techniques these are the techniques of ielts please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video the last one and the most important i think is the pronunciation and vocab mostly we don't pronounce the word in a good way if you know that you are going to make some grammatical mistake in the ielts speaking test then you can pronounce words in a good way or in an appropriate way and it gonna help you you can use vocab there if you found out there you are making mistake in your grammar then your pronunciation and your vocab can cover that all up and it can give you a 6 plus score 7 plus score also if you are good at pronunciation and accent as well so be careful with all the things that i told you i hope that these all the things gonna work for you but for that you have to do practice because without practice and listening to my videos it's not gonna working for you you have to do practice for yourself so thank you stay home and stay safe if you like my video please like comment and share my video to your friends